With the rear of our truck pretty much complete, we'll carry on with the front end and although we've installed our arms and sway bar, it's time for the front spindles and hub carriers with the SET 410 2.0 bag H. This bag will be similar to bag F, which included the rear hubs and links, although with a couple of slight differences due to the steering on the front end. So with your grease and thread lock to hand, we're ready to get started. Ok, we'll begin with our spindles, and inserting a flanged bearing to the front, and another into the rear. Repeat on the opposite side. Next we insert the pre-built universal drive shaft, giving it a turn, making sure it's completely free. After which we can drop in a retaining pin and cover with a 17mm wheel hex, again making sure the pin fits into the groove. Before inserting a 3mm set screw to lock into place, remember to apply some thread lock to the set screw and tighten down only until snug. Repeat the same steps for the opposite side. And with that said, our front CVAs and spindles are complete. Both should turn completely freely with no binding whatsoever. We now need to attach our spindle carriers before we install onto the front end assembly. Note that we need to get orientation correct here. When the spindle assembly is placed on the front end, the arm faces towards the rear of the vehicle. So when attaching the spindle onto the carrier, ensure you attach to the correct side. Each carrier is conveniently labelled for the left and right side. So with the correct carrier in hand, Feed through the drive shaft and place into position, and secure with a pin from top and bottom. You'll find two lengths in the kit, both of which have a hole in the end that lines up with the flat edge on the screw head. The shorter pin goes up top, with the flat edge facing outwards, and the longer pin down below, again with the flat edge facing outwards, so that a 12mm screw pin can be installed and lock the pins into place going into plastic here so no thread lock required. Again repeat the same process on the opposite side, preparing our left spindle and carrier assembly, and ensuring both turn freely. At this point also check the orientation of parts and ensure the right and left spindles and carriers match. Now we're ready to get these installed onto the front assembly. With the first in place on the suspension arm, taking care to ensure the dog bone is correctly positioned within the differential cup, insert a spindle carrier hinge pin into the side of the arm and through the spindle carrier. And just like the rear, secure into place with an M3 lock nut on either side. That's one side complete. Repeat the entire process on the opposite arm and secure into place with the final set of lock nuts. The front end is really starting to take shape now, all that's left is to get these front camber links into position, although we do need to build these first. So with a little grease on the threads, proceed to screw each turnbuckle into the rod end, just like we constructed with the rear, although easier this time round since both rod ends are the same shape. These need to have a 24.5mm gap, so try to be as precise as possible here. With both links created, insert a pivot ball into each rod end, very easy with the Techno Shock tool. Bear in mind, like before, one pivot ball is slightly longer than the other, so orientate them so that the smaller ball goes into the carrier side and the notch faces to the left once installed. So insert the first camber link on the spindle carrier end. Before inserting a 20mm cap head screw, complete with a single 8mm washer in place. From back to front, Stock position is top hole on the spindle carrier, and secure with a standard M3 lock nut, while the other end attaches to the shock tower, with stock position this time being the inside lower hole. So feed through another 20mm cap head screw, drop on an 8mm washer, before feeding through the link, and securing with a flanged lock nut. Repeat on the opposite side with the final camber link. Again remember notch goes to the left. And with that said, we're done with this kit bag. A quick final check to ensure everything is nice and free, which it is, no reaming or anything else necessary. In typical Techno RC fashion, everything comes together with perfection. Nevertheless, both front and rear end are at the same stage now. Arms attached, hubs and drive shafts in place, camber links in place, and all nice and smooth, 
although we need to carry on with a few extra parts to the front assembly with our next kit bag. In particular, the steering assembly. 